Good morning. My name is Marcia and my presentation will be on racism in the workplace, focusing on orientation for new eyes. It should be clearly and firmly set up that diversity, equity and inclusion are the cornerstone of the vibrant and safe workplace. Everyone should understand the meaning of these concepts. Diversity means that everyone is invited to partake regardless of their gender, their race, sex, or age. Equity is when everyone gets the support they need. Inclusion is about the opportunity that everyone without exception should feel free, welcome, and they should be heard, they should be valued, and they should be respected. If you look at Boston demographics data from 1970 to 2015, you will notice that there is a drastic shift has happened. The percentage of whites reduced from 80 to 45 percent. The percentage black population increased from 16 to 23 percent. The percent Hispanics skyrocketed from 3 to 20 percent. Asian Pacific Islanders were almost non-existent in the 70s and as of 2015 now makes up over 9%. Employers should help employees to adapt to different cultural, generational behaviors, needs and preferences. In addition, employers will need to keep up with the growing diversity in the society. Iron practice should be changed and use a diverse and inclusive approach. Companies should support federal laws of affirmative action and equal employment opportunity, even when not mandated to do so. The expectation should be set for all staff to treat everyone with respect and dignity. The goal is to build a coalition of employees who actively promote diversity, equity and inclusion. Bias is defined as subjective preferences toward a particular viewpoint or belief that prevents an individual from maintaining objectivity. People are very reluctant to admit their biases. During the orientation, it is useful to provide tools such as psychological tests that display employees' unspoken attitude and help them to recognize the problem. There are several ways to combat bias and promote inclusion. First is reflection. Everyone should reflect on the bias he or she may have. Second, confronting the fears, distrust and prejudice one may have against another. Third is engaging to prove the bias wrong through personal experience and working together. If we open our minds and art and start treating people as individual, showing respect and care, we'll be able to work together and enjoy our diversity. This is a test of selective attention. Count how many times the players wearing white pass the basketball. How many passes did you count? The correct answer is 15 passes. But did you see the gorilla?